This year, the Bronx Museum Teen Summer Program explored different community gardens in the Bronx. We had the chance to interview various people who play different roles in the community garden. Gardens are a resource to communities because they provide a place where people can garden and relax and they also bring the community together. I'm Hector Feliciano and I've been gardening uh, for the last three and a half years and she is, uh, her name is Chan, she's been in this garden for the last 10 years. We produce vegetables for over 12 families, 12, mm -hmm. 15 families. How would you say the garden affects the schools in your community? It gives the opportunity to uh, young, uh, young people to learn the process of, of planting and growing vegetables and learning how to eat healthy. Do, do you benefit from the garden in any way? Absolutely, I, I, I learned from planting and you also learn the culture of all the people. I'm so excited and, uh, and I'm sure that the same way I learned that uh, other people will be involved in learning and they have a life, life experience, learning experience. Restoration Project is an environmental nonprofit organization and we started out cleaning city parks in uptown Manhattan. In a city like New York, I think it's really important to have open space. What exactly does a regional manager do? My role in it was sort of gathering the community around, uh, organizing meetings so that we can get input from community members. People walk by the neighborhood all the time and they look in here and ask questions about how they can get involved and how the garden got here. What exactly is in the garden? Well, those are vegetable beds. They're growing a whole bunch of vegetables in there. You can see that like beds are kind of like going up. Then further down, we have a, a stage where we'll have a lot of events and then the, the lawn where people can relax and watch events or just lay down and sunbathe. I heard that you're involved in a program uh, called CSA. Can you tell me a little bit about that in your role? CSA stands for Community Sustained Agriculture. Basically a farmer in the New York City region brings vegetables to a community garden in my neighborhood and I sign up for a season's worth of vegetables. Everybody looks out for the place, you know, it's a community space. As far as personal life, I think I'm probably healthier when I get the CSA. It's like Less pollution, right, because I think the vegetables travel less, so there's less gas being used. All we do is buy stuff at stores, so it's a way to avoid doing that. It's been in different places over the years, in different community gardens. Right now, it's in Brook Park, um, which is a community garden on 140th Street in the South Bronx. Hi, I'm Daniel Colon. Um, I've been a resident of the Bronx and the Clock Tower specifically for the past eight years. Well, what exactly inspires you to do something like this? The act of growing things, of caring for things and nurturing them and bringing life and green space to the, the area that I live in. And there's another part that I think is just, it's physical work and it's not exactly easy, but it, it feels really good when you can pull it off at the end. How do you feel that this garden will better the youth. There are a number of neighbors and tenants here who have children and um, I do see some of the little ones up here sometimes and I see parents teaching them about what we have up here and, and also I just see them enjoying um, this space up here which is not that common in the neighborhood. Um, and then I guess secondly I get to have uh, interested students like <laughs> yourselves come here. Thank you. lovely uh, Lady K Fever. I've always been creative when I think about myself as a child. Art is just a way of life. So with the Bathgate Garden I was invited by New York Restoration and the Bronx Museum to create a mural. So with your mural how does it relate to the garden? I taught the classes in a garden so I brought the kids outside. It was not in the classroom, so the students actually had to come and find evidence of flowers, of weeds, of plants, of trees, and that's actually what we put up on the wall, is their interpretation of what they were looking at inside the garden. I feel that having a community garden, at least I know that there's a space there that's safe, or in the sense of safe, that you could go and have 
make art, you could go and, and do performances, and it's something that's protected, and I think that's very important. And that was what was really exciting about being part of that project is to be part of a neighborhood that you know you're you're breaking ground into maybe making a change happen and offering you know a, a, a space to children and space to families and and a community space. Uh, it adds color to the garden. It adds culture and it adds memories. <laughs> And I hope that, you know, vegetables and plants in it doesn't become memories, it becomes part of our continuing living.